Are we doing the thing? Take 12, man. Back with a brand new attitude. New name. You love the name. I do. The name fits perfect. It does. It does. What were some of the ones that we didn't like on the way to this name? Do you remember them? Um, no. I mean, I, I put mine in the suggestion box. I don't know if you heard. What was it? Um, Area 51. That's I pretty good. It was probably a little too much about me. Uh-huh. And, and producer was worried about that. One of them we had was uh, First and Swole. I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't even tell me about that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you like that? Nice job, Katie. Okay. What happened? We could the, go back. What happened to the poll? <laughs> That's all I'm asking. What about uh, we had uh, one of them was the All Pro and the Idiot. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> I didn't hear about that. <laughs> we settled on take twelve though. Yeah, the twelves, you know. Absolutely. Also, twelve takes, like hot takes. And you're an actor. Yeah. And so is Katie. What are you trying to say? I'm just trying. Yeah. It takes me 12 takes. Is that what you're trying to say? I didn't. You said that. I, I was just saying you're an actor. How dare you? I it's like three at the most. That's it. <laughs> Low for two takes is what they call me. <laughs> Relaunch, man. Re- redoing of the show. Big reopening of the show. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We got billboards all over town up in Seattle. Have you seen any? We do. Yeah. There's going to be billboards everywhere with your face on them. Kind of. Well, there's what well, we're recording now, but then there's. Yeah. Can you stop messing me up on the timeline? I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm a middle linebacker by heart. Uh-huh. Logistics. Yeah. Is, you know. But that's, now. That's what I did. I directed traffic on the field, man. But now you're going to be on a billboard like a quarterback. I've been on billboards. <laughs> who, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, Brett? I <laughs> think you're the only one that's going on a billboard. We got new sponsors. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about Yeah, there. Now something to talk about. Well, we not, don't give away too much stuff. I'm just saying we got new sponsors coming in. That's a new fun thing. Funny to talk about. I this said, is the cold open, my man. Cold brew. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this for three years. You'd think we'd know how to do it by now. Just put the fucking music on there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start the show? Let's fucking start the show. We got a new theme song, too. You ready? Oh, my God. Now, you need to tell me about that? Here we go. Start the show. Ah. It's the Take 12 Podcast. Welcome to the new show, a grand opening, a relaunch, a rebrand. A reimagining. The Take 12 Podcast on the Believe NFL Sports Network. As always... Brought to you by our sponsor, Simply Seattle. We're actually at Simply Seattle recording today at the headquarters. They let us in here. Insane. Do they know? Do they know we're here? <laughs> they probably do with all the yelling by now. <laughs> they gave us free beers, too. Shout out to Simply Seattle. Hell man. yeah. You guys want to go to shopsimplyseattle.com. Use our promo code exclusive to this podcast. Take 12. T A K E one two. Take twelve. Oh, sorry. That was that's my line. My bad, dude. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. T A K E one two. For twelve percent off of your purchases at shopsimplyseattle.com. He is former Seahawks All Pro middle linebacker Lofa Tatupu. I'm a guy from Edmonds who used to be on MTV, and will be on a soon. Sorry, soon to be on an episode of Tacoma FD, hence the bleached tips. So if you like Super Troopers, if you like Tacoma FD, I'll be on there soon. And that's why I have the blonde hair, and that's why Lofa can make fun of me about it. Now you know the story. My kid loves your cartoon. (laughs) Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh joke? You bet your ass it is. (laughs) Email us, seahawkspod at gmail.com. Follow us at take12pod. New handle, everybody. It's at Take12Pod. If you were following the old handle, don't worry. You're still following us. We changed the name. But if you're new, come find us at Take12Pod on any social media. Also, there's a Patreon coming soon, so be the first to sign up for that. More details on that later in the episode. On today's episode, we've got our 12 takes about the Seahawks and anything else we can think of. We'll also get to some of your takes that we got from Twitter. Also, a brand new bit called 51 Questions that Lofa is very excited about. 
<laughs> we're going to Germany. We're taking a trip to Germany this year, my man. Here's some. So we'll give you guys all the details about that. Ticket packages go on sale soon, but you can give us your email right now to sign up for all the details. Uh, and then also there's a collaboration coming with Simply Seattle. I forgot to mention that, but we'll get into that. Lofa, let's just start with uh, training camp, man, and our takes on everything. I mean, the show is called Take 12, so let's get into our takes, man. You were out there at training camp. What'd you see? Um, <laughs> I, I hate to let everybody down. This is going to be a quick take. Oh, no. What? It was so, it was so hot. Oh. It was, and they weren't in pads. Yeah. And everyone knows. There, you know, you don't see anything when there's no – everybody looks good. Brett Davern looks good in a helmet and shorts running around on the football field. Yeah, like because I'm an actor, you mean, because I look good doing it. I'll know what I'm doing. The stunt guy will make me look good. That's what you mean, right? Yeah, the mm -hmm. stunt guy right. does all the work. Right. So, you know, until the pads come on, you don't really see anything. The mm. pads just come on like what? Like I think it was like two days ago. Okay. So I, ha I didn't get to see them in pads. Yeah. Again, you know, it's hard for me to say that I was soft to leave practice after a half hour because of the heat. Yeah. But I might have got heat on, stroke. Man. I might have got heat stroke. So, <laughs> okay. so you went indoors. Uh, so you didn't really get a real sense of like this first camp without Russ and Bobby. And you, you weren't really able to get a full sense of that yet? No, I didn't get a sense of like what we have mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, Personnel who's left field. over. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Why are you always right. getting so negative? All right, fine. But I did get the sense of the energy and excitement in the air. Sure. In the building. Yeah. Like I man, they were they're ready to go. And I know with the team speed that they have through the draft, free agency, mm -hmm. all all the pieces they've added, yeah. They're excited. And I'll tell you right now, I, I'm it makes me excited because it used to, you know, even you know, things, I'm not going to say they got stale, right? but it was kind of like, all right, here well, we, we go. Well, we kind of knew what to expect, at least in terms of the players on the team and sort of that level of play. And really, who knows what to expect? Positions were set. Like yeah. this thing. Right. Like, there was no question about who the quarterback is going to be. Right. There is a question right now. Right. right. I mean, they're even, you know, Rashad Penny finished the season very strong, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we drafted a second round running back. It, there's there's so many, and then the linebacker position, which I could go on for. Well, there's like 15 about. linebackers on the roster right now. Yeah, well, you know, we'll see who wins that. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be Brooks and Barton, right in the middle. Well, and, give me a take though. I mean, I'll, here I'll give you my take, right? First, Super Bowl champions. Okay, and there's uh, Lopez take. My take: six games, and we'll be impressed by anything more than that. I think we'll be impressed by young players, and we'll all be looking for next year. Six games. What were you even saying? You just said six games. Six games. That's my take. Six, six games. Six wins. Mm? Six games. What? Six Ws well, no, this year. I think the over-under is like five and a half. You're shitting me. Come do you on. think we only got six in us? I don't know. I mean, what do we have so far? I don't we even got know got. We got a running back to rush for 150 per game the right. last five sure. games. Right. Resigned him. Here's a bold Beast prediction, though. Lot. I'll give you a bold take. You know, listen to my fucking take. I just... am. I was waiting. I thought you were going to finish. I'm sorry. You know, we've actually never done the show in the same room at the same time before. I, I hate it already. I just, I love <laughs> Sydney, Seattle. But damn, bro. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My point is, I got to get used to the rhythm. Keep going. No, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the bold take. I think we will beat the Bucks in Germany because we'll be there. Yeah, we're the good luck. Trend. So write that down right now because I already called it preseason. Championship. Yeah. Yeah, next day. Uh, betonline.ag. That's our next take. Betonline.ag, one of our sponsors. Go to betonline.ag for all your online betting needs. Promo code. Don't make me wrong here. I, I told you the new one. Take 12. Take 12. Right. Betonline.ag. Take 12 is the promo code. We're going to blanket that across the board to help mostly me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Take 12, T-A-K-E-1-2, betonline.ag, everybody. You can probably bet on, actually, I know you can bet on, who the Seahawks uh, quarterback will be week one. That's a prop bet at betonline.ag. So go over there, lay some wagers down if you'd like to, which is a nice seggy because the next thing I was going to ask you is the, next the quarterback battle, man. I mean, who's going to be the quarterback of this team? I feel like Locke is going to have to literally take Mm -hmm. The job mm -hmm. from Gino. Yeah, and, me too. Um, you know, Gino's been here. He knows the system. Yeah. You know, the guys love him, you know. So 
We'll see. But I, outside of, you know, a big thing about Pete Carroll and his program, whether it was college or the NFL, is security, ball security, mm-hmm. making sure you do not turn the ball over. So, out unless Gino somehow turns the ball over three or four times a game to yeah. start the season, mm-hmm. I don't see it happening. What week? Or at what point do you think like sports radio and everything starts talking about how long the leash is and all that kind of stuff and how many games they'll give Gino or whoever the week one starter is and all that kind of stuff? Because, I mean, we're, that's going to start maybe week three of the preseason. <laughs> like, they'll be talking about that pre, pre-regular season probably. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's just that's the nature of the beast. Well, how many games do you give whoever it is, you think? I uh... – We'll talk about it first, I guess. Yeah, we got we got seventeen <laughs> total games, yeah. right? And I'm not, but you, how do you know the body of work? You got to give him a chance. And sure, look, he got three games last year. Mm-hmm. We had a chance to win each of those games. That's right. I don't believe we gave him the full playbook. It didn't look, you know, like right. Well, he's coming in. Russ gets hurt. It's quick. Well, you so. still got Lockie. You still yeah. got Metcalf. Like it should be, especially a veteran like Gino. You you should have the full playbook at your disposal. However, I don't know if that was the case. We're going to see. He played well in the Jacksonville game, but uh, the Rams, when he came in, brought us back. That was the, you know, the team that won the Super Bowl. Yeah, no, I know. Brought us back against them. Yeah. There was an interference that they didn't call. Shocker, right? That led to the game ceiling interception. The next week, TJ Watt did TJ Watt things and won the game with yeah, a forced yeah. fumble. And right, sack, right, right. And, but other than that, I thought he played great. But now, first round pick Drew Locke is here, so watch out. Um, you know what I forgot to say? Pick? Yeah, yeah, first rounder, right? Uh, was he first rounder? Somebody? Drew Locke? Drew Locke was a first rounder. We're going to check that. Um, you know what? Something else we're supposed to check, and I forgot to mention this. Part of the new format is we're only supposed to get a couple minutes per take here. And this conversation is already spilling way over that time. Second round. So, wait, producer Move. Katie, so two Second minutes on round. the clock. Yep. He was a second round pick. All right, fine. Second round pick. But two minutes on the clock, two more minutes on this, and Sorry. then two minutes per take. And then you got to keep us honest, okay? You have two minutes on this take. Do you want another two? What, well, yeah. yeah, because I didn't see your – I didn't All know right, what the okay. take was Arco, over. Arco. What I was going to ask you was the Seahawks are playing coy with this whole quarterback thing, of course, saying they don't know what to do yet and they're or that they don't know what they're going to do and all that kind of stuff. But – do you think that's true, or do you think they already kind of know what they're going to do and they're just telling us that it's still up in the air, or do you think they will actually determine a lot through preseason and through how both guys play? I don't know how much stock I put in a preseason. Oh, really? Okay. I just know that Gino's been here. He yeah. knows the system. Yeah. Guys love him. Yeah. The leadership aspect. Right. Like, can Drew come in and win the team over? That's what I'm wondering. We'll see. Yeah. But that that's the only thing that could change and shift the tides other than, like, a disaster, like a five or six turnover game, right? Where they're just like, we got to see what the other guy can do. Well, I mean, that's how Russell won the job, right? In the preseason, when for him, and so I mean, we'll see what happens yeah, this preseason. Yeah, look, Matt Flynn didn't lose that job, right? So everybody was just like, oh my god, <laughs> right? right. Yeah. Russell won that job, right? Right. No, I hear you. Next day, I'm guessing time's up. We're moving on. Our Germany trip. That's next up. Yeah, this will be quick. What's up, dude? It's going to be amazing. It is. <laughs> I, okay. Big announcement, everybody. We will be in Munich, Germany for the Seahawks versus the Bucks. The big game, the big worldwide game that everyone's talking about. I mean, there's like, I think 700,000 people signed up for the email mailer just to find out when tickets were going to be sold. So this thing is bananas. We, this podcast, will have authentic game tickets. You can come to the game with us as part of our ticket package that we're selling. Uh, it'll also include hotel accommodations over there in Germany, special events, exclusive events with some Seahawk legends. Lopa is going to be bringing some Seahawk friends with him, uh, which we will announce those names as they come out. The tickets are on sale right now as you're listening to this podcast. So check out our social media at Take 12 Pod or Lopa's uh, Twitter or Instagram and follow the links. You guys can buy tickets right now. Uh, to go with us to Germany. We're not buying your flights or anything. You guys get yourselves over there. But once you're over there, you we got your hotel, else. we got parties, we got dinners, we got all these events. All of the information is online. Find it on our social media and come with us, everybody. Uh, we're going to have gift packages for everybody that buys a ticket. Also, the last thing I'll say about it, there's only 51 tickets for sale. So it's limited space available. It's a nice round number. It's super, <laughs> super exclusive. And these tickets will sell out. So jump online. 
If you want to buy them right now, they're already on sale. If you want to just check out the information, do that too. Uh, Lofa, our next, <laughs> as you open a beer, ja. our, our next topic, join us. Hey, buddy. In Germany. New defensive coordinator for oh. the Hawks this year. Clint, yeah. big hurt. Big hurt. Yeah, new DC. Um, last year we had a new OC. This year, a new DC. So we talked about a new OC last year. I mean, is it any different getting a new DC? I mean, what, what's it? You know, it's kind of the same thing, but for the other side of the ball this year. No, but schematically, they're talking about some differences. You know, okay. more. I think everybody's getting alarmed, like, oh, we're going from the 4-3 to the 3-4. Well, personnel-wise, we were always set up more for the 3-4, and we ran what's called a stick defense, a stick front, fair front. However, there's a lot of good names for the verbiage for this. Mm-hmm. But three down linemen, two outside that are, you know, usually bigger than linebackers, but a little smaller than DNs, and they're athletic, and they can rush the passer, and they can also, you know, do well dropping in space. So I don't anticipate too many different changes, but it's going to be hard for offenses to know who is blitzing on a down to down basis. And mm-hmm. that's what's exciting is the confusion that it can cause for them and the opportunity to have more big plays for our secondary and linebackers and, uh, and our front to rush the passer. And is that how you want to see them play? I just want to see fast, aggressive, you know, ha- I mean, we saw the greatest defense in my opinion that ever played because no one ever led scoring four years in a row. Mm-hmm. 12 to 15 every year. Mm-hmm. Number one. Defensive scoring. scoring, yeah. That's mm-hmm. it's unheard of. Yeah. And so I want to get back to that. And I think with all everybody that's getting caught up in the who's going to be our quarterback, yo, know, I could hand the ball off to the running back. And look, I'm not saying, you know, that's what we did in the past. <laughs> but Marshawn Lynch and that defense did a hell of a lot for us. Yeah. To, you know, create that stretch that we had, that incredible run. Mm-hmm. So that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Is well, and reports out of camp, like fun young talent on the defensive side of the ball, you know, Kobe Bryant, like hearing a lot about that DB. So it's gonna be fun. I think it'll be fast and young and hungry. Yeah, Bryant. I mean the safeties, Bryant, mm-hmm. um, Woolen, sure. The six five, four, three, forty, yeah, uh, corner. Yep. From UTEP. It, you know, Cody's gonna get to play. Um you know, linebacker. Cody Barton, oh, we're out of time. We're talking about defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he wants more time. All right. <laughs> Don't make me get defensive. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. No, I'm excited too, man. I'm excited right. too. And also uh, without Bobby, of course, because, you know, we talked about Russ leaving, but, you know, the quarterback of the defense for all those years is no longer there either. So we'll see how Brooks steps in and, you know, how the backers uh, fare as we yes. go through preseason. All right. We're <laughs> – Sorry, Bobby. We love you. Katie, just make us move on. Uh, We're moving on to um, Seattle Youth Hockey Assist Golf Tournament. Um, It's something that we are supporting as a podcast here. Uh, It's a great charity for uh, supporting youth hockey in the area. You know, the crack under new in town and stuff. And so there's big uh, interest in hockey and playing youth hockey and playing any youth sport is expensive, but especially hockey. And so Seattle Youth Hockey Assist helps. Uh, pay for pads and helps pay to send kids to away tournaments and things like that. And we're playing in a golf tournament. I'm playing. You're playing. I'm winning. More Seahawks are coming out you're there playing. with us to that. I'm winning. A lot of local business owners. The tournament is at Echo Falls uh, Golf Course, called Golf Club, yeah. Golf and Country Club. I don't know what they call it, but come on out and support. You guys can also send donations uh, at SeattleYouthHockeyAssist.com if you want to help out if you can't come out to the tournament, but. Uh, the reason I bring this up is not only because we're going to be out there and having a good time, but because you are playing in a hell of a lot of golf tournaments. <laughs> are you smashing it or what? Oh, three, three ten average <laughs> off the off the tee. Like, yeah, is that good? I basically wrote this down just so that you could flex for a second about your golf game if you wanted to. Take that. <laughs> I, I true, true true story. I I this is a quick story though. Yeah, I I almost played hockey once. Really? Yeah. Once. Yeah, my dad found out, to, you know, uh, rank time was like 4 a.m. Yeah. That was so, the end of that. So you didn't play hockey ever? Quick story. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> Football, it was. Next day. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Here's where I put down celebrations. Oh. You wanted to talk about celebrations. Go, you yeah. told me to put it in the rundown. Yeah. What well, do you got? Thank you. <laughs> You know, I don't want to waste all my two minutes on just thanking my producer and Brett, my co-host, for actually listening to one thing I actually asked for. Listen, we the clock is running, but we yeah, don't need talking. to feel the clock, though. You know what I mean? It's that oh, I feel John it. Wooden thing of, like, what did he say? Like, 
being fast but not sure hustling or, or or hustling but don't worry about being too quick isn't there some john wooden quote probably something about Somebody? don't rush tell me about that Be basically quick, that's what i'm saying so what's the story did you actually read that book yeah okay <laughs> anyways celebrations we're celebrating our third season yeah i can't believe it um never thought i'd be here <laughs> never thought brett would actually be here <laughs> and katie in person but yeah. it's a celebration we're celebrating simply seattle um and speaking of celebration on top of us celebrating our third year i just want to talk about teammates that had great celebrations okay and i just you know shine away on the guys that do all the dirty work okay so yeah, my, sure. my d-line yeah man um grant wister every time he just smokes somebody yeah got up with a punch or a flex you know Break the crowd up. I can, I, when I picture him, I picture him both arms raised in the air, and he's not wearing any yeah. arm pads because he had some. He had good arms. And he's oh, letting yeah. us see all of it. He's still shredded. Is he? Yeah. 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 Big, and big cross. How's guy. the How's the uh, the flow? Uh, how's the hair shining like Orion's belt? <laughs> um, then we're gonna move on. Who else? Rocky Bernard. Okay. Is that the 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 belly? No. No, that's me, bang. That was bang bang. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that was, was me, bang. bang. Okay. Okay. But, you know, Rocky, he had the shimmy, the shoulder shimmy, or the, the sugar bear shake. Oh, that's, that's right. right. I remember that. I mean, it yeah. was iconic. That's, I have the John Wooden quote here. Yeah. Producer Katie helping us out. It's uh, be quick, but don't hurry. Yeah. 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 Thank you for right. sharing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bryce Fisher, first yeah. one. He was, we were playing the Rams, and I think he went off for like two or three sacks against a team that he had just left. He was the first one to do the point to the back of the nameplate. Really? First one I saw do it. Wow. Right? Yeah. I mean, he invented it. He's a trendsetter. Didn't he go to Air Force? Probably big on TikTok. Yeah. 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 He did go to Air Force. I don't know why I know that, but that sticks out in my brain for some reason. Because he's a baller. All right. Yeah, um, that's true. Who else? Any other uh, celebrations with D-Line? Yeah, me vain. He had the belly roll. Well, the belly roll. Yeah. That, that that's that's um, a classic. What little, you... little nasty, Craig Terrell, the yeah. original little nasty. <laughs> he was strumming the guitar. Big guitar guy. Yeah. So he was strumming the guitar. He's still singing. He had like a. Did he have a, like a country album at yes. some point or something? Yes, he did. Yeah. Simply Craig. Check him out on Spotify, everybody. I don't know if that's the name, but yes, yes, check him out. Oh, Craig yeah. Terrell, <laughs> little nasty, aka. All right. But um. The greatest celebration. This is to all the gamers out there. And I know I'm going long. Sorry, Katie. No, you're Hi. fine. But I was a big gamer back in the day. Yeah. Before I had kids. And uh, in the gaming community, if you played Halo or oh, if you I played know Call of Duty. Yeah. Teabagging was a thing. <laughs> you're going to push B on them. They, <laughs> go over and push so B you on know. them. So oh, you I know. know. Okay. B, 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 I'm B. Just saying, there's some people that might not get this out there. But yeah. So essentially, when you shoot somebody, right, in Halo, which, you know, you could go over there. Crouch down on their face. I, I, I didn't say face. You're getting very specific. Well, I was if just you saying, line it up right. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, <laughs> you can go over and you can, you can teabag them. Right. And there's a big thing in the gaming community. They're saying make teabagging great again. And Oh. So this was 2009, right? This is going on a billboard, by the way. Make teabagging great again. The Take 12 podcast co-hosted by Lofa Tatupu. Ryan, Ryan, write that down. Okay. So 2009, we had a big group of gaming guys in, you know, yeah. big gamers, right? You guys would like do the LAN parties we were, and well, stuff? Well, we were, Microsoft is uh, oh, yeah. associated with the Seahawks. And so sure. they had a system link where like, I don't think anybody had this, right? Nice. And so you, you after practice, at the very end, you'd rush there. There'd be four guys there, um, and we would we would all jump on and we would play. And yeah. So I was so notorious for teabagging <laughs> that <laughs> no, write that down. That my my someone changed my username to Love Teabag. <laughs> okay. And it gets better. Yeah. I happened to go on IR, and I was very sad. I was very distraught, right? Couldn't couldn't finish the season. But TJ Hushmanzada, one of the greatest teammates I ever had, the very next game we had, he scored a touchdown, and he did the teabag celebration <laughs> in the end zone. He, he, I got to get up to do this. He did the knee. And I, I'm telling you, he is an icon in the gaming community. Yeah. And I wish they knew about this back then, but 
just you know, it really it lifted my spirits. People got to find that gift out there. Then it's, it's got to be out there somewhere. There. If yeah. you find it, please that. send it into us because you know I'm just gonna save it as my wallpaper because <laughs> <laughs> I was going through a hard time. I just I was lost for the season. Yeah, and uh, he goes up to me for the game. He's like, I'm scoring today. He goes, Watch for the celebration. Amazing! <laughs> wow! And when he did it, all the other gamers on the sideline right here me. And they're like, no way he did. Oh, wow. <laughs> he did it. I, I'm not, I kid you not. I remember that. I remember this moment. I didn't know there was a behind the scenes story about it. It was so good. <laughs> That's amazing. And the, okay, that was the greatest celebration. The only other one, uh, we're all over time, but Julian Peterson, I was supposed to get a sack. I was yeah. supposed to get a rush that I knew it was a guaranteed sack. But we were beating the Bucks, you know, handily, and they weren't going to call my number. They're like, no, you're just going to cover. We're going to send the good guys the blitz. <laughs> I was like, fuck. So uh, we get in the halftime, and then they're like, hey, man, you're not blitzing. Give us give us the sack dance. I was like, all right. Well, we're playing the Buccaneers. When you sack uh, the quarterback, get up and do the Captain Morgan. Put the knee oh, in the air. Oh, nice. You know, got a yeah. little captain in you. Yeah, yeah. Julian Peterson got the sack. He did the celebration, and he got a case of Captain Morgan sent to his house. Nice. Did he split it with you? No. What? I think I got, they might have got a bottle. Okay. Maybe a shot. A little finder's fee. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's good. I started, I started that celebration. <laughs> I, shit, like that. I like well, that. I like that. TJ Hushman's eye did. But. Hey, speaking of players, let's go back to the training camp. What's going on? Cause contracts and stuff and a lot of, you know, moving pieces on the roster and things like that. KJ Wright, you know, fan favorite, one of our favorites. He's been a guest here on, uh, take 12 podcast last season, but KJ Wright, you know, he signs the one day contract to retire as a Seahawk. Um, just, you know, love the guy. Uh, let me go through him and then you give us, give me your thoughts. JR Sweezy, same thing. One day contract comes back, retires as a Hawk. Chris Carson forced to retire, uh, because of the uh, injuries and things he's dealing with. Um, so I mean, go for it. What you start with KJ and then, I mean, I don't we could do a whole episode yeah, on my thoughts and you know about KJ. Yeah. That's how special of a person he is. I hope one day I see him in the Ring of Honor. Mm-hmm. You know, that's ten years. We didn't start winning until KJ Wright got here. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, we we didn't win when he left. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah. There's there's something to that. Yeah. And so uh but more more so I watched him come as a rook with no training camp. Or, or very little training camp because of the lockout. Mm. No mini camp. He had no, like, yeah, they could send you the playbook. And he picked it up, learned all three positions, not only played all three positions, but did it well. Mm. I know a lot. You know, I know all three positions. I can only play one well. That was middle. <laughs> but to play all at an all pro level yeah. was insane. And even, I think the most telling story about KJ was when he got moved in year 10. I can't imagine this. If someone came in, and they moved me from middle to outside. They're like, yo, you're going outside. I know you played middle your whole 10 years. You're going outside, Mo. I'd be like, just cut me. Like, KJ was like, yo, I got it. I'll figure it out. And he had the uh, best statistical year of his career. Wow. In year 10. Yeah. So it just tells you who he is. On top of, all right, you know, Super Bowl champion, all pro. Uh, what was it? Um, Steve Largent, man of the year. Yeah. Like, yeah Everything he, he does in the community. I mean, just pro. Pro in all in all facets. Dominates. Yeah. So just legend. Um, shout out to Chris Carson, mm-hmm. one of my favorite players to watch. I think one of everybody's favorites to watch just because yeah. the way he attacked the game. Sure. And um he went out on his shield, man. Like, yeah. You know, it's um I mean he did everything he could. I mean, he, he was there the whole bro, time, kept trying to come back. I mean he was, he bro, was it's your neck. You know, running out running out there with the guys. He was in camp kind of, you know, you like, might not he was be trying walking. everything he could. You yeah. might need to be walking. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you know, you know, I love I love this game. I gave everything I had to this game. We're talking about actual quality of life yeah. after this game. Yeah. And you know, like little things. You know, I've seen some guys have that surgery and like they turn, their body has to turn for their head to turn. Yeah. And so um I, I, it's I, bittersweet. It's, it's so, obviously it's, sad to see him go, but injuries suck. Yeah. It does. Injuries suck. Yeah. I know that. I know. And it's just it's tough. It's yeah. tough. And yeah. So, but I mean, he was one of the best that ever did. Well, how about Jared Sweezy too? I mean, defensive lineman turn offensive lineman and then wins a Super Bowl with us. It, insane. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, that's, you know, from going forward your whole life in terms of rushing the passer and stopping the run. Now you got to backpedal and actually take on all these, you know, athletes that 
Yeah, yeah, it's insane. Yeah, what he was able to do, so. and a really nice NFL career. I mean, played with us, won the Incredible. Super Bowl, moved on, played with other people. Yeah, all that. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> on. Uh, DK resigned. I mean, just give me a quick thought on that. Like, I don't know if you have any thoughts on the contract or anything. I mean, I, I wanted us to resign him. I think we need to resign him. He kind of, I mean, he becomes the face of the franchise almost instantly. Um, but what do you think about the DK resigning? Yeah, he's a guy that you want to keep around anyway. Yeah. And so I don't, I don't have much to say other than congratulations. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Drink, drinks on you, bud. There you go. Um, <laughs> Uh, your takes, everybody. We're doing our takes. There, we got to your takes. You guys were tweeting Lofa your takes out there. A uh, lots of good ones. I saw, um, you know, Dick's uh, drive in over In and Out. That was a hot take from people. Up, but yeah. I think I think I agree with that yeah. one. Do you agree with that one, Lofa? Because yeah. you're a California guy, though. In and Out's down there. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's, uh-huh. yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> and I, I don't know if like you know when I go to get Dick's Burgers that has to play into it, but you know because it's always midnight yeah um, you know had a couple <laughs> and like i i went to a cracking game with jordan babineau uh-huh. and right after i had nine burgers oh. i finished all nine oh. producer katie <laughs> that's your standard order at dicks i'll have nine cheese i think i i ordered six he ordered three i think he only finished two the cornerback soft <laughs> and i was like yo what are you gonna do with those other two birds <laughs> i got in a little trouble on twitter because i responded i said uh the Olympic mountain range is more beautiful than the Cascade mountain range to look at. And people came after me on Twitter for that, for that hot take. Yeah, I, no, I, I'm going to drink a beer for that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what you're talking We're about. We're moving on from your takes. Uh, the new segment, 51 questions, Lofa. 51 questions. You, it's because that was your number. I mean, you could have been number, you know, 23, but you were number 51. So 51 questions. With Lofa Tatubu. I didn't have a choice in my number. Actually, we, we talked about that before, didn't we? <laughs> no, I don't think we have, actually. Not that you care. How did you get your number? Oh, you really care? Yeah, I do care. Or are you just trying to fill space? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. I was like, when they drafted me, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, they were like, what number you want? I was like, yeah, let me get 55. All the grades to SC were 55, right? Yeah. And because I knew Isaiah Kavzimensi had 58. Mm-hmm. So I knew I wasn't getting 58. So let me get 55. They're like, ah. We just gave that to Jamie Sharper. I was like, okay, let me get uh, 52, you know? Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, what's up? It's like, nah, you know, we you know, we got somebody in there. I was like, okay, what do you have available? There you go. We got 56 and 51. And I was like, hmm, well, I always like watching Lawrence Taylor. Let me get 56. They're like, we're giving you 51. Oh, what? And I was like, well, what'd you ask? Yeah. And... It's, I don't know why. <laughs> and I was like a rookie. So I, you know, I was going to ask. Well, who got 56? Leroy Hell. Oh, so did he already ask for it then or something? No, he didn't get drafted for another like two hours. What? He was right after me. He was the third pick. Well, they ask you right away when you get drafted. Right away. Wow. Okay. It was crazy. All right. I didn't get it. They just didn't want to give it to you. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Like, yeah. Now, you don't want 55 anyway, though, because that was the boss. And then it's like, I don't know, bad vibes on that, maybe. Oh, you bite your tongue. The boss was the man. <clears throat> Look, he's the man when he's the man when it comes to like being a cult hero and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we can revisit that Seattle, tackle maybe. against Bo. He it was a run through more than a you know run by more than a run through. Mm-hmm. I had the same all curious right. set of circumstances with Stephen Jackson in college. <laughs> you remember all your bad <laughs> set plays. Of circumstances. Yeah, it was it was oh, almost yeah. identical. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> fifty-one questions is the segment. Any questions? It's on your phone. I texted it to you. You have to get your phone. So, fifty-one questions. They're completely random. We actually only have forty-five of them. So you guys got to send in six more to round out this segment out there. Unless Lofa can think of six more questions off the top of his head. I'm, I'm sure I can. <laughs> the point is, there's one minute on the clock, Katie. You really have to keep track of the timing on this one, okay? I'm trying. One minute on the clock. These are very specific <laughs> questions. There's not. We're going to see how many we can get through. Look, it's theoretically possible, isn't it? <laughs> you yeah. Got, you got like a 20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, What'd possible. you get on the Wonderlick? It's okay, you possible. would have to ask the question mm-hmm. in less than <laughs> three tenths or three, a third of the second. <laughs> sure right? And then your, no, your reply is what I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep the reply short. The point is what we're going to do is we ask the 51 questions. There's one minute on the clock. You see how many you can get through. We'll keep a leaderboard right. around here. These are what you But guys, I'm going to set the bar are. for everybody. I'm going first. I'm shortening these. 
That's fine. You can shorten them. Yeah, do whatever you want. It's your segment, buddy. Whatever you want. You guys are assholes. All right. One minute starts after you complete the first sentence or yeah. the uh, first question. Okay. First out of me, but somebody's got to keep track of how many I get. You got it? Fucking just ask. You didn't listen wow. to the rules. I did. I, I said clock starts. It's clock's after. running, bro. Sorry, it's not over. Okay, ready? Here we go. I'm simple Seattle. I'm right. sorry. I'm Where are we starting? Fine. Where are we starting? <laughs> Hit us with it. <sighs> Maybe you've heard this one. All right, woman on the clock. Go ahead. First out, me bought. Green A Dookie. Last meal. Uh, b- barbecue ribs. If you give up one of your five senses, which one? Smell. You have any posters in your bedroom? Michael Jordan. Collect anything? Uh, no. Favorite sports team? Seahawks. Seahawks. And he's conspiracy <laughs> theories. <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't land on the moon. Colors couch. <laughs> Brown. Favorite use emoji? <laughs> Last crime. Last movie funny. you saw. He's talking Shut about. the fuck up. <laughs> Last movie you saw. Top Gun Maverick. I want to win. Count to ten in random order. Uh, right. One, three, five, seven, nine, eight, four, two, six, zero, seven. That's not right. I know that. I think you no. just said seven twice. Mm. Uh, what's your most used curse word? Fuck. Salty or sweet? Sweet. Pancakes, waffles, or French toast? Pancakes. Cr- crappiest day job you ever had? Oh, selling vacuum cleaners. Matt Damon or Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck. Do aliens no, exist? No, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, no, yes. Sure. yes. Okay, yes. Uh, pass. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm asking a question. <laughs> Favorite fruit? <laughs> Favorite fruit? <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. Mm. How many was it? How 20, many was it? 19 or 20? I got 17. 17? Well, you got, no, you got them wrong. You still answered them. What are you wrong? They're opinion based. The, like, the tender. <laughs> tender. <laughs> Random First order, of all, yeah. you're in a random order. You technically could have gotten one, two, three, four, that's five, true. six, seven, eight, ten, nine. Oh, this is why he got. A See, that's why he got the big score on the wonder. Like, it's not totally random, but it is different. <laughs> you guys, uh, there's lots to discuss on this show. We often run out of time, as you can tell. But this season, we are putting overtime videos, overtime rants, extra topics, and possibly even extra episodes on Patreon.com. So go to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash take 12, T-A-K-E-1-2, pod, P-O-D, take 12 pod. So patreon.com slash take 12 pod. Sign up. It's barely more than a dollar a week. It supports the podcast, helps us, you know, pay for marketing and billboards and all the fun stuff we want to do around here. You also just become a supporter of the show. I mean, you get this show for free. Why not put in a couple bucks each and every week at patreon.com slash take 12 pod. And like I said, uh, you'll be getting exclusive rants and extra videos and things that you can't see anywhere else on the internet. It will be exclusive to our patrons. This uh, week we'll be putting up a few things. And one thing we'll be putting up is Lopa's thoughts on USC leaving the Pac-12 for the Big Ten. Don't tell me right now. Save it for Patreon. (laughs) <laughs> just like sat back in his chair but i'm excited to hear your thoughts on that and we will be letting our patreon patrons know his thoughts on that but right now lofa speaking of time and all of that good stuff would it be patreonians uh sure why not episode t- one of season three of the newly named take 12 podcast is now in the books and it's over so we're wrapping it up how you feel good <laughs> i feel sweaty I swear my ass. We off. usually don't do it in front of these lights and stuff. All of the lights. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ooh. You guys, um, follow us on social media. Could have been 51 questions. <laughs> at take 12 pod. Email us seahawkspod at gmail.com. That's spelled exactly how it sounds. Uh, follow us at take 12 pod. I already said that. How about Check that out our jersey? sponsors, everybody. Yeah, simply, simply Seattle. Seattle. Shop simply Seattle.com for any of your Seattle sports teams apparel needs. They're also, they also have PNW designs, all kinds of apparel from simply Seattle Sonic stuff. They're the world's largest Sonic retailer. So check them out for anything you need. What's the promo code Lofa? Take 12. That's it for 12% T-A-K-E off any of your purchases at shop simply seattle.com. Also shout out to betonline.ag, epic seats, Oh, man. So much to talk about. Thanks for being here with us, everybody. This new season is rolling, and we will have new in every episode. And we will have new episodes each and every week. So stay tuned. 
Uh, local, we got to break it down. Then. Stay hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you want to break it down to? Come on. Hoppy Valley. What, do you, what are we breaking it down to? I'm not touching your hand. <laughs> what? what? We're going to wireless. Get out of here. Back up. Back up. No, you break it down. What? No, no, you right, break it. it down. Simply Seattle on three. One, two, three. Simply, Simply Seattle. Seattle.